guys, what's going on? I uh, wanted to put together a little how-to video on how to make your own silencer pads for your garage gym, home gym, um, if you're lifting in your living room, whatever it may be. Uh, so long story short, um, my garage at my apartment complex that I live in, the apartment above it is not mine. So I was making quite a ruckus in here. My neighbor wasn't exactly happy about it, so I had to kind of come up with a solution. Thankfully for me, when I looked online to buy some drop pads, everybody was out of stock. So it honestly, in the long run, saved me a bunch of money, but I needed a solution right away. So I knew I could find some high density foam, probably at Joanne Fabrics or like a craft store of some nature. So that's where this four inch high density foam comes from. You don't need it. I don't need it now, but I had it. I already spent the money on it. I already cut it. So that's why it's attached here. So uh, what I used is I have carpet padding. Um, if you watch any of the, I think there's a couple of YouTube videos out there um, comparing the Titan Fitness drop pads, the pound pads, to the row pads or whatever. And when they opened them up and showed the, the foam, I was like, that looks eerily similar to what carpet padding is. And in the grand scheme of things, I'm pretty confident that's what it is. It's just all suctioned together. So living in an apartment complex, they're always changing in and out um, the carpets and the carpet padding. So. I was driving around the complex just looking for the guys, knowing that at some point they were gonna be at an apartment swapping stuff out. I found them one day, I asked them if I could have the carpet padding, they were like, yeah, you can take it, man, it's one less thing we gotta throw out. So I took it, um, what I did was I cut it into two foot uh, by 18 inch sections. You could go bigger, I didn't really need to go any larger than that, so it's technically each uh, rectangle is three square feet. I have 28 layers of it, um, it's three eighths of an inch thick. And the other thing too, knowing it's coming from an apartment complex, it's not the highest of quality. I just imagine they, they lose money when they replace carpets. So they definitely are going to try to skimp on how much money they spend on it. So if you live in an apartment complex, you live near an apartment complex, I'm pretty sure you probably could get some for free, but if not, you can still buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot and it's not really that expensive. So I have 28 layers here. Um, that works out to be roughly like 10 inches because um, it's 3 eighths thick and then that works out to be what? 84 uh, square feet right here, 84 square feet here, so that's 168 square feet that I totally used. Um, if I didn't already have these, I wouldn't have used them, so I would have just went with more carpet padding because I had it available to me. It cut easy with scissors. Um, and then how I attached it all was just, I had some shrink wrap that back from my athletic training days, we would wrap ice bags around with. Um, you could use, um, I initially used like some motorcycle tie down straps. It worked okay, but it was just kind of annoying. I was like, well, I have this stuff, might as well use it. Um, so you could probably get away, you can probably find this stuff on Amazon. Um, I think McDavid is a brand. Uh, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's just do a little sound test here so you can, Hear how quiet it actually is. Um, 160 uh, kilos on the bar. Make sure I'm centered. All right. Quiet. All right. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section below. Um, yeah, hope this uh, can help some of you.